welcome to. <laughs> And we're taking it easy. We are taking it easy, chillax. As we move forward. As we move, as we look forward. And move forward. And move forward. With our heads up. With our heads up. Da -da, da -da, Shout them on them, we could eat we. You'll hear that song in a minute. If you catch the lyric, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and start Yes, it's it. okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so today we have an exciting show planned for everyone. I'm really excited about it. Are you excited about it? Yes. Mike, are you happy about life? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad that I'm not dead. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm quite ecstatic about life. You're happy about Yes, life? and we have a little show, an expression. We do, we do. So we're, uh, today. Where we are. Today, where we are. I am so are. on the, hold up, hold <laughs> up. Is, are we on, I, can no. we get on the level? Because I feel like we're on two <laughs> totally different levels right now. We are on two totally different are we levels. Not, we're on different, well, oh. clearly like physical levels because, <laughs> can we just talk about the height difference? I'm clearly not wearing heels today. Yes, you're not. I'm not. And he is a giant. No, this is like, this is what I think Goliath looked like. No. In the Bible. <laughs> Can I not say that? Was that mean? I don't know. Goliath just... didn't have locks. But straight David, man, he just <laughs> took him out with that stone, man. That's good. He did. He took him out with that stone. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so today, you know what? We're excited about life. And you know what? We want to encourage you guys to be excited about life. So today, what we want to call this show is Welcome to the Party, Celebrating Life One Step at a Time. I didn't know the title. No, it was a really long <laughs> title. Like, I probably should have concise that mug down. Nobody told me the title. <laughs> it was on the outline. Mike, it I was just, on the outline. I thought it was celebrating. Read your email. Read your email. That's all I'm saying. All I saw was like celebrating life once and I didn't see the welcome to the party. Well, I think I added that because I was like, welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the party. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, man. It's going to be such a good show. But we got something for y'all. We got something for y'all. So, so I feel like I'm on a music video. <laughs> Just, can we get a car? Can right, we get cool. a car in the back? Whatever, let's go. Do we, I need my suit? Something. All right. We got something for y'all. We got something for y'all. So celebrate life one step at a time. One step. One step. Huh? <clears throat> <laughs> I'm sorry. On. One step at a time. I wasn't ready. One step at a time. Huh? Five, six, seven, eight. with some more on the level with Mike and Holly. Man, I got it every time! <laughs> it's good, you did good, you did good. <laughs> All I'm saying is this world. This, this is what I'm saying right here. We do not celebrate sexual molestation or pedophile. We're back. On the Can level. I just say that I stepped that mug out right like so many times in rehearsal? And it was going very well. It was going very well. <laughs> so we have a couple of headlines that we want to talk about with you guys. Some mm -hmm. things that caught our eye over the past week or so. Sure. And um, last week we talked and touched a little bit on some marriages. Kelly Clarkson finally getting engaged and... Did we have to throw in finally? <laughs> <laughs> girl is 30 but I ain't far no <laughs> you know I'll be on them upper 20s them 26 no y'all she really is not that far like, okay <laughs> like, but you know what no seriously tweet us she <laughs> help <laughs> help you know what I'm celebrating my life I love my life right can we I talk have, about it I have something for you single people later on hold on now just keep watching 
Keep watching the Mike, show. what's in the headlines this week? <laughs> headlines. So we touched on some, some marriages, uh, some people getting engaged. Brandy also was someone that we mentioned. But over the past week, we learned something in the news that was a little bit more disconcerting. Right. Yeah. We Well, actually, an article that caught my eye, and I mm -hmm. think the one that caught your eye as well, where there was this 70-year-old man that married a 15-year-old girl. Right. And apparently, he was paid a dowry of $20,000 by the family to uh, basically sell off their daughter. Wait. He paid a dowry. Yeah, he paid a dowry. Sorry. Okay, because I was, I was about to say, can you can you get paid a dowry? Can you get paid to get married to a younger woman? Because that's pretty much a win-win. Let me go ahead and get get it ready. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me go, let me go and get my ring. No, uh, no, no. But for, for me though, like I get paid a dowry though. I know, but like, I get, and I, I get, get the paid, girl. No, yeah. Yeah. No, it's the other way around, which makes sense. Well, and then it got me researching about what's going on, and it was really interesting, but these, uh, about child marriage, that basically these young women are being forced to be married off to these older women, as low as five and six years old. I'm not kidding. Like a five-year-old, like a six-year-old is like forced to marry a 25-year-old. And I just think it's so disheartening. So you know what? I'm not complaining about my singleness, okay? So Mary Kay Olsen is in a relationship with an older <laughs> man. I can't, I'm sorry. I can't continue to talk about those children like that. That's horrible. It is. Yeah, that's, yeah. So Mary Kay, <laughs> Mary Kay Olsen uh, has a bow. Um, uh, right. And I thought that it was actually, uh, it went in line with the topic of child marriage. <laughs> I thought that it tied right in, you know, because, uh, you know, No, that's good, because, I mean, that's a story that hits close to home for you. It does hit close to home. And actually, you know, I, I don't really know how to take it. I think that everyone can find love. You know, that's great. But she kind of, even like... Even in a hopeless place. Even in a hopeless place. You know what I mean? Like, go Rihanna. So, um, <laughs> but no, but she kind of, like, like, she, like, tore apart, like, every, uh, I guess, perspective that I had on this, because homegirl's a billionaire. And she's clearly not after the older man for some money. Mm -hmm. So she must just like him. <laughs> like, I don't know. But well, no, I think that's the picture. It looks like he's like cradling his young right. his, puppy his, or like right. baby. Or I don't know. Or his daughter. Or his daughter, <laughs> right. Why wouldn't that be why wouldn't that be more appropriate? But is no. He, is, is, but I don't think he he's not a billionaire though, is he? Well, I'm sure he's banking. He's probably banking, but I don't think he's a billionaire. And all I have to say to that is. Do your thing. You know, but I love. Don't sign a prenup. That's, <laughs> that's all I'm that's saying. That's all I'm saying. But I love. But y'all do the clink clink. Don't sign a prenup. Don't sign a prenup. <laughs> that's all I'm answer. saying. But I thought it was really cool though. Uh, you know, and it goes on. I kind of mention it on every show, like live your life unapologetically. Mm -hmm. And she basically just says, you know, everybody's got an opinion. Mm -hmm. I think I should just focus on what's in front of me and put one foot in front of the other. That's good. And I that's like that. One of the things that I was committed to doing. Um, was, you know, before I met my girl. Right. Uh, right to be. But no, um, found out that Raven Simone was worth like half a billion dollars. <laughs> and was well on her way. And I was just My like, glove was here <laughs> and you came in over here. I did not know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, on the Cosby show, I already had a thing for for her, for Raven. Right. Because we're about the you know, we're similar in age actually. So Did you know that I am a cheetah girl? <laughs> <laughs> I am a cheetah girl. You don't know. I, I know. He had to throw something. He throws things when, you know, he gets a little rowdy. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, so what about Raven? What you like about her? I know what you like about her. I don't want to talk anymore because you said that you were a cheetah girl. I am a cheetah and girl. Snap, snap, snap. Wait, how old am I? <laughs> I'm just saying back in the day I was a cheetah girl. We were so close to finding you someone. <laughs> <laughs> That plug, we put that out there. By the way, totally meant to change my sneakers during the uh, during the we, intro segment. And now we highlight that, along with the fact that you're a cheetah girl. And I'm a cheetah girl, so I got so many things going for me right now. So, I mean, if you want to get in, get in now. <laughs> we may need to reassess what what it means. What it means, so I need some it, like. To have it going on. Yeah, I don't even know. Maybe I'm just going about things wrong. What a novel concept. What a novel concept. <laughs> moving Absolutely. forward, moving Justin. Moving forward, so, yeah. 
We can, Justin Bieber, we can't talk headlines without talking about the, uh, or can we? The, uh, we very well could. <laughs> well Trust me, we don't Justin have Bieber. to talk about the Bieber. Yeah, he looks very uh, in deep thought in that picture. And I think it's because of everything that's going on mm -hmm. right now and what he's going through. And here's He the looks thing. remarkably masculine. And I was just really appreciative. Androgyny. Can we, yeah. Well, no, no, no. No. <laughs> That's opposite. The, that's the opposite. I know, but I threw it in because, um, just because we were talking about Justin Bieber before. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like 17 weeks ago when Justin Bieber is still. <laughs> look a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, Homeboy turned 18 bit, this year. Like he grew up. We couldn't, yeah, we couldn't really tell, but now he looks really masculine. No, so he was caught this week. Uh, well, I guess it was this week where there was a picture TMZ took that he was smoking a, a joint. Doing some grown up stuff. Yeah, growing up, and I just wonder if it's medicinal. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Babes, um, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> You're I gonna know. catch a case. Don't I know, <laughs> you know, but I think it's easy to pass judgment, and he's been very open about his faith and his walk with the Lord and everything, and his marijuana you see. No, but I think you know. <laughs> I know that even after I've been saved and I've been walking with the Lord, you know, I've done things I'm not proud of, and oh, he yeah. he tweeted. What did he tweet? Totally. He tweeted, he said, uh, he said, I see all of you, I hear all of you, I never want to let any of you down, I love you and thank you. So, you know, people go through things, he's a grown boy, uh, but you know, the past is behind you, keep your head up, if you mm -hmm. made a mistake, just move on, move right. forward. Celebrate life, <laughs> celebrate your celebrate life, life not with a joint. <laughs> <laughs> just don't, just try not to use illegal drugs. Try not to use illegal drugs. Because you can go to jail and they can have negative and harmful consequences on your body. They and can. Other, and on other people. It's not necessarily the wisest thing to do. Exactly. So we're going to come back and show you guys some things to celebrate, some ways to celebrate later on without the use of narcotics. Right. We'll be right back. I think we had one more to cover. We did, but that's fine. Okay. It wasn't that big a deal. The lottery winner dying? That was kind of hot. That was kind of hot. We'll touch on it if we want to. Yeah, we can. Yeah, because I Just like the... Um... <laughs> Celebrate life right now while you got... Oh, we're back? No, we're not. We're not back. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Did y'all just see her feet? They was, was that, naked. Was this part of the, um, the lighting? <laughs> <laughs> well, it ain't now. <laughs> Wait, is there jewelry? <laughs> I just did the whole segment. It's some Nike tennis shoes. <laughs> and some pants. You did a segment and a teaser. And a teaser. And I was just sitting like I was a grown man, too. That, that whole set. I don't know why if it was my tennis shoes. Like, when I have the, my heels, but when I have my tennis shoes, I was like, so what's going on in the headlines? Like... <laughs> Wait, I'm not even sitting like that. You're not. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm They're trying. They're going to make me take this off. Yeah. I'm trying not to show everybody my goodies. Yeah, me too. Won't see, won't see all of this. <laughs> huh? Yeah, they sure do. All right, you ready? <laughs> Just a second. Yeah. Yeah, that microphone. Is. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Are we back on the level? Clearly, we, the level we didn't with, discuss that. No, we, we didn't have an intro ready. We're back on the level with some more Mike and Holly. And uh, the subject, And my stilettos. Yeah. I finally, I did. I got dressed during the break. <laughs> did we get a close-up of those things? We can't do no. that. But okay. you can look at them from right here. <laughs> Thank you. It's not in the budget. All right. So our, our subject, our topic for today is... Wait, get the whole thing right. Yeah. Get the whole <laughs> thing right. She changed it up on me, so go it's ahead and like a, It's it. like a paragraph. Yes, give us this long... Wait, Mike, welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. Celebrating life. Celebrating life. One step. One step. At a time. At a time. Who does that? I don't know. I could have got that mug down, but I just want to get the whole picture, you know, the whole... So, a, a somewhat sad situation. There's a lottery winner that won a whole lot of money and has passed away and that was recently in the news yes it was a uh 
it was a lottery winner, exactly what you said. He was in the Illinois, he was in Cook County, Illinois, and he got a dollar scratch off, and he won a million dollars, and the very next month, it was determined that he was poisoned to death. Cyanide. Cyanide. You know, watch what you drink and watch who you drink with. And watch who you tell you want a million dollars to. You know, I mean, maybe for that we reason, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to win the lottery. I just wouldn't want everybody to. You know, know. what? I'm not going to go there. I'm not going <laughs> to. You know, I'm not going to go that deep with it. But what I will get deep with is I will say. Well, first of all, yeah, I will say. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Wait, make up your mind. <laughs> make up my mind. Well, there was another point I wanted to make. So, but I found it interesting in the article that after taxes, that homeboy took home four hundred twenty-five thousand dollars out of a million. After tax, what? What did he? What was? Straight up sixty percent. That's the tax bracket. I'm telling you. I'm for, telling you. For who? He paid alimony. What, what, what did he do? He paid alimony. What did he? Why did he lose? Why did he lose all of his money? Because he, it was taxes. He had to pay taxes. Anyways, I just wanted to highlight that, that you know, you don't even get all that money. But second of all, is what I'm saying is, you know what, don't wait to a certain someday to enjoy your life. That's what I think. I'm sorry, six zeros just turned into five and I am still not okay. No, so, it's not okay. <laughs> why did he only take home less than 50 He was right. <laughs> no, we're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there. Oh, I'm being insensitive. Oh my gosh. That's not okay. No, it's not um, okay. But no, I, I think that it was horrible. I mean, there, there's, there's, there's people, there's greedy people out there. And, but I think that it is, uh, I don't think we should always be waiting for a someday to enjoy our life. Because look, homeboy, dollar scratch off, wins a million dollars and he's like, great. And then he dies a month later. You never know when your last breath is. Right. Do you agree? I definitely do agree. So I'm saying, you know, I don't got six zeros right now. I don't even got five, but I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying I'm gonna enjoy my life. <laughs> so, in fact, you know, I just paid my bills on the first, so I mean, you, you don't know what I'm gonna have. I'm just saying, okay, so, but Mike, but Mike, our topic for the day is celebrating yes. life and welcome to the party. So, um, do you think that it's important to celebrate life? Of course, it's important to celebrate life daily. Daily. Now, right. That's a and lot. One of the things that we are going to talk about that I'm going to mention is, you know, life sometimes isn't all that great. Sometimes it just downright sucks. Yeah, right? it's hard. So when you have these times in your life that are dreary and hard to deal with, you have to learn to take a deep breath, take a step back. I think we have some people who just came into the studio and I would like for them to come and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna walk in front of the camera. <laughs> no, they can't. No. It's no fun. No, the anyway. studio is so large that just find a seat in the back. Yeah. Find a seat in the back, in the balcony. Y'all can oh, sit. I think I there's see, room in the balcony. I recognize one of them as my friend. She's been here before. Me. They're all your friends, Mike. They're all your yes, friends. Can we talk right. about celebrating life? Yes. Yeah, so Lord. I was saying. So when things when things get a little a, a little rough, yeah. you have to learn to take a deep breath, step back and kind of woosah yourself. Woosah, yeah, and, I like it. And reassess, and take a, a brief moment to celebrate something, yeah. anything. So, re go ahead. No, I think that it's actually so necessary to keep us motivated in life, mm -hmm. and to keep us even going, that if we don't allow ourselves to have those celebrations, we might and to have those small successes. Commit self-homicide. Right, exactly, and we don't want that. Because <laughs> that's dire. Yeah, and you know what? Actually, a, a quote that I love. I'm a, I'm a quoter. You know I do that. I bring it on it's okay. the show all the time. Do Oprah Winfrey said a quote that I really like. She said, uh, the more you praise and celebrate your life, the more there is in life to celebrate, which I think is amazing. And you can find pretty much anything to, it doesn't have to be I won the lottery. I mean, it could be like, you know, like I'm, I'm praising God that it was almost 70 degrees today, clear skies in January in Houston, Texas. No, that's what's up. That's definitely what's up. Uh, I had a brief moment of celebration myself last week. Uh, I had a situation with my vehicle. Where yeah. I got that mug out of the shop. Uh -huh. And it died completely the very next day. That, Did it? That night, and it was Friday night. We were right after the basketball game uh -huh. that we were at. And died completely. I was on the side of the road, 
18 wheelers passing by. I nearly got sucked out of my car and ran over. Okay. Um, but, you know, I was kept. Amen. Yeah. Anyway, the very next day, that Saturday, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> when, I, when, I, when I woke up, uh, I, I was thankful for waking up on Saturday oh. and decided, you know, hey, after having just paid all that money to get my car out of the shop yeah. and nearly getting ran over, you know, that can kind of do some things to you. So I took a step back, a breather. Um, you know, don't drink so much and can't really drink for breakfast. So my mom, my beautiful, loving, and caring mother, had made me a rum cake. So why not just eat some rum cake for breakfast? I love that. <laughs> it was great. So I had me a huge... Compromise. Right, a little compromise in there. Yeah, you don't lose that moral compass, melted, but at the same time you indulge. Yes, melted me some butter over that rum cake and ate a huge, large chunk for Snap. breakfast. Can we get that on set? Mm-hmm, and a large cup of coffee and sat there with my Bible and just had some good quality right. time Right, and just celebrated life. It was good. You know what, when mm -hmm. we get back, we are going to talk to someone who, as you mentioned before, you may be thinking that it's a little difficult to uh, celebrate in life when you've been through some adversity and some hard times. So we're going to talk to uh, someone. And it is. It is. It is. It's mm -hmm. extremely difficult. We're going to talk to a special guest who's going to tell us her story when we get back. How she did it. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and Holly and crazy things go down during the commercial break. But you know what? So. That song is very fitting. What don't kill you makes you stronger. Right. Exactly. So uh, we're going to use that as our little segue. Uh, <laughs> and want to first introduce you to our wonderful and beautiful guest, Brittany. And she's going to give us uh, a little story, some background on her life. Um, talk about yourself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Brittany, first, well, <laughs> first of all. Right, did I do that wrong? <laughs> no, you did it great, okay, Mike. Good, Fist pump. You. Fist pump. Okay, no, Mike did it great. But actually, Brittany Wright is a is a personal friend of mine. Uh, but and, and I brought her on the show because she actually has an amazing testimony. And I want to clarify, that's a personal friend as opposed to an impersonal friend. Right, right. Thank you, Michael Dickens, again, for... <laughs> Clarifying. Thank you. So, Brittany, in your life, do you believe that it's that it's important to celebrate your life? Oh, absolutely. I think that we definitely sometimes take life for granted. Mm -hmm. And I think that every day, you know, we wake up, put our feet down on the floor, start walking. That's a blessing. Yeah. And there's so many people in this world that don't exactly have that luxury sometimes. So I definitely believe in celebrating life and really taking a taking time out to acknowledge. But it wasn't always so easy for you to celebrate life. I mean, you've been through some things. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I've been through some you've things. You've been through, let's talk about a little bit, um, more specifically, when you were a little girl, what, what happened? Well, um, I grew up in a fairly, you know, I think normal household, and my mom and dad, and I have three brothers, and, uh, when I turned about seven years old, my father passed away. Mm -hmm. He had heart complications, which was super devastating for my family and myself. I was a huge daddy's girl. You know, I love, love, love my dad. Mm -hmm. He was just everything to me. And, uh, you know, he was just, he was my protector. He saved me from whoopings. I mean, he saved you from them whoopings. Yeah, girl. My mom was, my mom was the more disciplinary, and my dad was more of the, oh, come here, baby Bobby, girl. She doesn't understand. She's young. So I missed those times, yeah. you know? But um, yeah, it was really hard for my family. So you grew up in a, in a single mother household yeah. and, and, you know, suffering from the loss of your father. What happened uh, later on in life? Well, um, a single mother, uh, she was raising my, uh, us four by herself. Uh, well, when I was about 17, uh, my mom got diagnosed with breast cancer and that was super like what the heck is going on mm -hmm. you know i was really just i didn't really understand the whole just i was just blown away mm -hmm. and uh, she went through chemotherapy and she had surgery and uh unfortunately the cancer spread to her liver and she ended up passing away in 2005. 
Okay. Like a, uh, yeah, uh, 2005. And August. what age were you when that happened? I was 17. I w it, was, it was it was right before okay. my 18th birthday. Okay. And how did you feel about life at that time? I was very just down and out. I mean, I talk about hum drum just. This, that's an understatement. That's an <laughs> understatement. You know, I was very just upset. I was angry. I was depressed. You know, it kind was of, it, it hard to depression. see any good in the world? Oh at yeah, that definitely. Point? It was almost like God slapped me in the face. You know, yeah. it was like very hard for me to grasp anything at that time. Like I was just completely numb from yeah. emotion and from feelings and. You know, there were t I remember at my mom's funeral, there were people who were literally talking to me, just trying to offer their condolences and, you know, be encouraging. And I literally could not even, I wouldn't even just like acknowledge them. Yeah. I was just like, you have no idea what's going on inside of me right now. So I don't want to hear it. You know, I don't want to, you know, I don't want you talking to me. I was just You had walked numb. in my shoes. Yeah, you don't know it my was story. just very, it was very just, it was a very low part in my life, yeah. moment in my life. So being a young adult and kind of venturing off and becoming a woman and losing both of your parents at that age I was obviously, as you described, extremely difficult. When were you able to make that transition and uh, begin to see the joy in life? Because clearly today you're at a completely different point than you were in, in your rock bottom, in your depression. So how did that transition take place? Well, I remember the Sunday after um, my mom's funeral, I went to church and the pastor was speaking about strength yeah. and uh, talking about how God will provide you strength and provide you comfort. And he was saying how if you need prayer, come to the front. And I've never been the type of girl to go up to the altar because, you know, it's like, I don't know, it's just awkward for me sometimes. I can pray in my pew. Right. You know, <laughs> I can just reach a hold of somebody. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> reach but <out. laughs> I went and walked up to the front. We could worship on on the level right now. In Jesus name. Jesus. All right. Yeah, so she's, I went, she's, she's healed. <laughs> we don't need to read. I went and I walked up to the front and I remember just crying and I, and I talked to God and I was like, God, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know what your plan is. Yeah. I don't know what you got going on, but if you're real and if you, you know, if you even acknowledge me, if you even see me right now, I pray that you provide me with the strength that I need, provide mm -hmm. me with the comfort that I need to get through this, because I don't see a way out, and I definitely can't do it by myself. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I remember leaving, and slowly I started kind of getting back into the groove of things. I think God definitely I placed people in my life where I was encouraged and I was uplifted, and I was just surrounded by love, like, all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, slowly but surely, God started putting those pieces back together, and, you know, before I knew it, I was smiling again. Yeah. And, you know, it felt foreign for a little bit. And then after that, a couple of weeks later, I, I realized I was actually laughing yeah. again, you know, and it was like a real Britney laugh, not that fake laugh that, you know, some people pull off like, oh, she's so funny. You're funny. That's uh -huh. good. Yeah. Yeah. But it was I a real. I to do that sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I think we all do. I mean, I think we all. Wait, I do that to me. We no, actually, okay, fine, perfect segue to tell my theory. I feel like when you have to say, "Oh, that's funny," then it's it's not. Then you'll catch yourself doing it when you feel sorry for people, and they'll give a punchline. You're like, "Oh, that's funny." <laughs> and when you have to say it, that awkward pause, nah, because yeah. and clearly it's hard for someone like me who belly laughs like with no hesitation. <laughs> and so when you hit the punchline, you gonna know it. I'm gonna be like, ha 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 ha. But <laughs> but when it's like, oh, that's so funny. No, <laughs> it wasn't. Okay, yeah, so, so I started to laugh again. Yeah. And, um, God placed <laughs> spiritual people in my spiritual mothers. I like to call them in my yeah. life and. You know, that was really encouraging because um, I, there was a void. You know, I wanted yes. someone, God knows I'm a relationship type of girl. You know, I want to be We're able made to that to, way. Humans yeah, are. I think yeah. we're made and built for relationships. And I wanted someone to go to to teach me how to cook. I need to learn how to cook, you know. Yeah. I got oh, to be, be able to cook for my husband and my kids. And, you know, I think. I receive it. <laughs> I wanted someone Hold who. On. I just go to the Keen's house. <laughs> I just go to the hamburger helper. Let's be we real. I'm not going to learn. For a little bit. All right. Yeah, can just I, I pray That's it. domestication. That was, oh, we're done? <laughs> no. I was just really excited about that. Yeah, I mean, 
Cooking is hard for me. It's like, hard. I'm, I love so is bake. that one of the ways that you choose to celebrate now oh, in your life? Oh, absolutely. You know, I try to like come up with different meals. You okay, know, well, I try to explore. Um, I got a lot of cookbooks. Do I don't really go to that. Sister? Huh? You know, I probably could. I don't want to like, but I want you to know that I'm beginning stages. Like, yeah. Ooh, if you get sick, then I should not be held like okay, well, liable because well, we'll you're wait. doing this voluntarily. Yeah. We'll wait. Okay, yeah. We'll wait. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're so yeah. glad that you've been able to <laughs> come One out of, of that trying storms. time. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's really good. And we want to talk really more with you, and we're going to talk more with Brittany Wright when we get right back <laughs> on the level with Mike and Holly. When we get right back, <laughs> I'm more. I'm learning. That's good. That's Holly. Don't pull it down. Oh. 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 Don't look, I'm changing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm really well, no, wait. I'm what? No. no. Okay. No. So welcome back to On the Level with Mike and Holly. And what we wanted to do was we're talking about celebrating life. And you know, it doesn't have to be like a huge, sweet sixteen. And it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be expensive. These are small little ways that I like to treat myself. And little knickknacks. Little knickknacks that make me feel better about my life. I'm sorry. I go ahead. Finish that finish? statement. I'm done. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we would like to highlight some of the ways that we like to celebrate in our lives. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm still mad that I didn't get to finish my statement. No, finish it. I gave you a chance. I'm sorry. sorry. I forgot. I want to hear it. Mike, what were you going to say? I forgot. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's It'll right. come back to you. So, for the big reveal, these are a few ways that we like to celebrate. Drop it like it's hot. Woo! Okay, so who's gonna start? Who's gonna start? Okay, uh, I can. So one of the ways that I like to celebrate, can I mm -hmm. switch with you? Sure. Even though we got my lighting right? Oh. One of the ways that I like to celebrate is, so I got my music, and I got my mirror, and I got my hairbrush microphone. And I like to pretend that I'm Kelly Clarkson and sing in my mirror. And, and you're engaged. And, and, <laughs> Below the belt, Mike. Below the belt. That's all I'm saying. But actually, you think this is like a punchline and a joke, but like I did it last night. So, like, I literally do this in my life and it makes me feel better. I put on my dancing shoes and I jump around and I sing. So, that's an idea for you when you want to celebrate your life. That's awesome. Clap that up. If by chance you're watching this show and you're still interested in Holly Day, please hurry up and tweet us at OT Level. That's it. Um, <laughs> How do you celebrate, Mike Dickens? So one of the things that I like to do, um, I like to take long, long, hot showers, of course. But, I, you know, you wash your hair, and I have plenty of it. Um, so I dry my hair, but I also dry off with the dryer because I think that it's <laughs> sometimes just, you know, on special occasions <laughs> when I have a little bit extra time that I'm working with, <laughs> I don't have to use a towel. It's kind of great. It's like it gives you a nice, warm, dry feel. <laughs> no, it, that's it. It's a little life celebration for me. When you got a little time and you want to feel good, um, <laughs> you know what would be really great is if you wrote a song about it. I actually did write a song <laughs> about my dryer once. My brother was uh, kind of upset because I can write songs about anything, anytime. On the fly. Right, on the fly. And so I did that one time. I was just having a really, really awesome, chill day. Yeah. Right? And I had taken awesome hot long showers, like 20 minutes. This is back when I lived by myself. And, uh, <laughs> and it was great. And so I got out that shower and dried off my hair and I dried off with the dryer. And I looked at the dryer and I was like, you're my best friend, my dryer. You keep me warm sometimes. Cause you know, when you get out the shower, you can be kind of Yes, cold. no, we get it. Right, my dryer. <laughs> you make all of the water go away. Dryer, ooh, oh, dryer. And I was, well, I don't think that I need to sing the rest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I did write a song. Yeah, he did Thank write a song. About the dryer. It's a little so, life celebration. It's a small moment. I can really appreciate it. It's relaxing for me. It is. It's totally relaxing. So, okay, so moving on, one thing that I like to do is it's really simple, but I've talked about how some of my favorite shows in the past, I like to straight up 
drink a little glass of wine, Woo! and watch a favorite season Woo! at the time. And I know that this has now gone off the air, but I still watch this mug. And a little One Tree Hill, and I absolutely yeah. love it. And That's the longest running TV show in history, right? Didn't it start like in the 80s? No, it did not. <laughs> I wish it did. I would have more seasons to watch, but I'm just saying. But please note that I have the glass here along with the bottle because you don't want to just drink the whole bottle because then it turns from a celebration to just depressing. <laughs> and we don't want that. So if you're drowning your sorrows with the bottle while watching the season, totally a breaking point. But if you just enjoy the glass, it's totally okay. So I just want to throw that in there. So that's a way that I celebrate. Maybe you want to celebrate. That's good. That's good. Yes. Clap that up. Woo! Woohoo! All right. So on a, on a little bit of a serious note, I uh, went on my first mission trip this summer with my father to Ghana, West Africa. Oh, and, right. Right. It's now, one of my dreams. Right. Now, um, every son does not have the perfect relationship with his father, right? Sometimes you can have issues in your relationship. Right. Well, my, me and my father were no different, and we had some areas of complication in our relationship, but... However. However. There's a, a huge, huge change in the story, um, because God is awesome, and he's faithful. And exactly. He's, he will restore lost relationships. Yes. And that's exactly what he did between me and my father. And, uh, and so when we went on our first mission trip together, mm -hmm. um, one of the things that my dad said as we were getting ready to leave the airport uh, and board the flight back home um, from Ghana, he, he made the comment that he really wanted us to get something that was alike yeah. from Ghana so that we could both have it as a memento of our mission trip. No so, time like last minute. No time like last minute. <laughs> yeah. I get that mug in there. But, you know, yeah. I really appreciated that. Um, and it was, it was just a life-changing trip and it was a, a wonderful bonding experience yeah. for my father and I. Everything wasn't perfect on the trip, but my gosh, it yeah. It really worked. And so I was really appreciative. So when things get a little down for me, I look at this and I remember um, what God is able to do in relationships, what God is able to do in life in general. Right. And it encourages me and it reminds me of my father and a great time in Ghana, West Africa and a great mission trip yeah. and all of those good stuff, good things. So. No, we don't worship wood and stone, but no, we no, do. No, no, no. no, what we don't we, do it is, is a memorial. Yeah, we, what we don't <laughs> that do is, is okay. carve things by ourselves and then bow down to them. No, we don't do that. Them. No, no, that no, sir. That crap doesn't make any sense. Absolutely right. not. Are you kidding? Okay. That's it. So, uh, one of the fun things that I like to do... Yeah, we can, can we clap that up? Yes, absolutely, clap it up. One of the fun things that I like to do is, and I just started this recently, is I like to have cookies for breakfast. And that is one of my... Yes, so one morning I woke up and I was like, had a really rough day, and I was like, you know what, I really want some cookies, like I should bake those later. And I was like, screw that, I want cookies now. And I was like, I'm gonna have cookies for breakfast. So that's what I do when I want to treat myself. I make cookies for breakfast. Cookie crisp. I'm mad that I can't get that kind of love, but okay. <gasps> okay. Cookies no, for it's breakfast. Good. No, it's good. Y'all already know what time it is. I'm sorry. Can we get this close up? Uh, we can't get a close up. I we ain't got budget for a close up. No, 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 no. Right? Let's get this close up. Can we, <laughs> ain't no can people behind them cameras. You know what? So, <laughs> Bring it in. <laughs> I need y'all to see this. <laughs> we got to do our own close up. Yes! That's perfect. That's perfect yes. right there. <laughs> so, one of the ways that I like to chillax is... And relax all cool. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. I like, I like to bump me some brandy in bump, the bump. stereo. Woo! I like, I like to get a little, a little brandy. That 211 album, y'all go out and cop that joint. Um, some of the songs are a little risque. Just skip past those. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Right, That's so good. did we cover everything? Yeah. No! Well, we have one more. There's one other thing that I like to do. I like to listen to some music in the evening, you know, kind of wind it down. And my nightcap includes <laughs> some Bluebell. Yeah. Now, <laughs> Bluebell ice cream. Indulge, yeah. Indulge. If you can't afford that half gallon, just get that pint. Just get the pint, right? Now, I I'll show this to you guys. No, they know, Bluebell, Mike. Well, no, I want them to see the, t the kind that it is. Butter. Crunch. Crunch. So I just ran across this butter crunch Show me. last week. <laughs> I just I just ran across this butter crunch last week. And do you know what? What? This thing changed my single life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
wait, did it change your life? Because that's not what you said earlier. <laughs> what did it change, Mike? I said that it changed my orgasm, but. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> but, <laughs> on that note. No, I have to clarify that. You can't leave that there. Oh, yeah, we can't leave that there. We can't leave that there. No, I'm just, it was, this was so, it was good. So if you're waiting <laughs> and saving yourself to purity, to purity, to purity, to purity, butter crunch, butter crunch, right now, we'll be right back more on the level with Mike and Holly. It became my new high is what I meant. <laughs> And we're back with some more on the level with Mike and Holly. And we are in our segment called Say, Say what? what? And uh, yours truly, well, not yours truly, her. Uh, oh, so not <laughs> at all yours truly. Her. The opposite of yours truly. The opposite of yours truly. I just pulled the date. Um, okay, I'm glad that that's, yeah, I'm glad that pulling a dake is, is, an, is an honorable right, thing. Right, well, right. in honor of Houston's rodeo season, which is fast approaching. It is. We wanted to take some time and recognize some things from the country. So we're going to expose all of you, our visitors, to some country things. And here, to bear that responsibility. Well, it's our, it's, it's our favorite country quotes, per se. And to kind of get us in the mood for rodeo season, I have some props. I'm not really that familiar yes. with and so all things in country. honor, Mike, I would like you to put this on. Really? Uh, okay, I'll just do it. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Is that good right there? Oh. That looks good on him. Okay. Yes, bless the Lord, oh my soul and all that is within me. So these are just uh, some, some favorite things that I think uh, country folk say, or, or it's things that country folk say that are a few of my favorites. Yeah. So here we go. If I have offended anybody with my language, all I can say is tough titty. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dolly Parton. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Here's They're not supposed to be tough. Right. That's just tough titty. Here we go. We human girls can be persuaded to do anything. Like just yesterday, I said I'd never wear a tampon. And what do you know? Today I'm wearing one. Jessica Simpson. <laughs> no, that's, that's anonymous. Okay. Another one of my favorites. All right. so close. Don't, don't let the good Lord hit you where the Lord splits you. Wait. What? Don't let the don't oh don't let the <laughs> don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you. Oh, it makes more sense. It's Dark all right. Dun -dun <laughs> oh yeah, y'all are great. Okay, don't corner something that's meaner than you. That's just dumb. Who would have said that? Oh, that's Jessica Simpson. No, all these are anonymous. Oh. Um, <laughs> he ain't the brightest crayon in the box. <laughs> Is that on there? Yep. Oh. <laughs> that ain't, I'm not saying that to you. I was about to say, I was feeling offended. Nah, <laughs> it's totally cool. Uh, here we go. He couldn't hit a bull in the butt with a bass fiddle. <laughs> a bass fiddle's rather large if you see the picture. <laughs> but he couldn't hit a bull in the butt with a bass fiddle. First all of right. All, why are you hitting a bull? I don't know. He doesn't understand country. He don't, I don't really don't either. No, 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 I know. I need to understand this. First, why are you hitting a bull, number one? Number yeah. two, why would you try to hit a bull and all you got is a fiddle? Like, all you got, That's I, it's saying he's a bad shot. He couldn't hit a bull in the butt with a bass fiddle. He could, did I say add butt? <laughs> added butt. Okay, here, I like this one, I like this one. <laughs> She's so snobby. She held her nose so high she could have drowned in a rainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> I just spit. <laughs> I love that. I love that. She held her nose so high she could have drowned in a rainstorm. Okay. No, we don't like snobby people. That was good. Okay. I like that. Yeah, one. and one of my and one of my favorites, she's so mean. That woman would tear you a new three-bedroom, two-bath, double-wide butthole just for nothing. <laughs> just for nothing. A brand-new three-bedroom, two-bath, double-wide butthole just for nothing. <laughs> you know what? I love the things that 
country folks say. So if you're in the Houston area this rodeo season, please make it out to the rodeo celebration and celebrate your life with, <laughs> with country folk. Okay? Yeah. We love it. We love it. Honey Boo Boo, watch out. That's all I gotta say. Where's your hat, Mac? I lost it. Hold Where's on. your hat, Mac? You gotta stop doing this stuff on voice, Holly. Where's your hat? Oh, this is messing me up. I love how I added a ghetto with, where's your hat? Where's your, <laughs> I can't transition very nice. <laughs> Ooh, well, guys, definitely, definitely, that was something that should be on View and Talk Media. That was something that should be on you should have media. You should have a whole country segment where you highlight all things country. I should. I should have my own show where um, and, and, and partner with you and talk media and, oh, wait, we do. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit we do. But they can always do some more. Exactly, but you know what I love about it is mm -hmm. that when uh, we wear these cool hats, they can uh, they can get a, a shot on me like right now, mm -hmm. and then they can get a wide shot if we wanted to do like a do -si do See what they can do? <laughs> okay. You don't know how to do -si do okay. It's pretty simple, do we Mike. Just walk around one you one? just walk, but you got to put your hands like this. You got to put your hands like this, <laughs> that... and then you add a little kick and a little kick and a little kick. It's not quite as cool as the on the level, but... Why are you still doing this voice? I don't know. Once I lock in, cool. once I lock in, I can't get out of it. That's I'm good. done with the hats. I'm Thanks. back to Holly Dake on the level with Mike and Holly. That's good. Now you have a hat here. Uh, oh, no. Oh, it's no. It's okay. They can fix it in post-production with View and Talk Media. I don't think that... <laughs> but the, no, actually, the great thing about View Talk Media is you don't have to have post-production. Not at all. It's so, a live shoot. I love it. All great things. So definitely, guys, check out View and Talk Media. They are the ones bringing you this show right here. If you got to get anything done in the studio or on location, they can work that out for you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, guys, thank you for watching On the Level with Mike and Holly today. We are pleased to bring you our eighth episode. Ninth? Eighth. Eighth. Eighth episode. And you guys, stay tuned. Celebrate your life. Find things Please. to celebrate. It don't have to be to big. Celebrate. And enjoy it one step at a time. And let's step it out with some, with some On the Level. Solid. <laughs> 2013, guys. 2013. Guys. Come back and see it. Oh, there we go. This oh, we do not celebrate sexual molestation. Hold <laughs> on, wait for it. Wait for it. You are so. Oh, you think we did it after episode eight? Well, no. You would think we did it. You know what? Got my head up, me to How to do she know? Oh, you want to do the step? Yeah, what's up? Oh, you act like I can do that in heels. Stop. Can we do that on the same beat? Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, no, nope. <laughs> yeah. it doesn't work. We tried. Yes, so, oh, we can't do it. It's good, but we put the effort out there. We did.